Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For you guys that don't know, my name is Stephanie and I'm currently traveling around Japan. And this time I have something really special to share with you guys. I'm actually working with Overland Japan here and we're gonna take this camping kind of truck thing with a tent on top and we're gonna go explore uh, Japan. And specifically today, we're going to Izu Peninsula, which is down south of Tokyo. And I'm going with Josh today so that we can go and explore and go camp and go take some cool photos. So without any further ado, let's go camping. We made it! <laughs> Alright, so we're heading off to go check out the waterfalls. Apparently there's seven of them, so we'll see how many we can hit up. But we gotta make sure we get to the camping site in time, so there's a lot to do! But I'm excited to see the waterfalls! Yeah. Hopefully, you know, maybe get a photo or something. We'll see, we'll see. Izu has so much nature to offer and here we're checking out Kazuo's Seven Waterfalls which is basically a walking trail with a whole bunch of waterfalls and it's a super nice and simple trail unless you're like me and you like getting attacked by nature so yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's actually really stunning and it's super easy to get to. I'm yelling because it's really loud, but it's really peaceful. Minus my yelling. And here we go. <laughs> So along this trail, me and Josh found this rock which is said to be here for several hundred years and apparently it's never moved or anything. And the other thing that makes it super special is that apparently it looks like a guy making a prayer, holding his hands, so it's dubbed the wishing rock. Basically, you donate 100 yen and you get three stones and you give it your best try to land the stone on the wishing rock. And if your stone lands on it, you get good luck and your wish might actually come true. So let's give it a go. Very bad at hand eye coordination. Please don't judge! Oh. Oh. All I do is win, oh. win, win! It's win. on there! Your gusta! <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's on the um, rope. On the left. On the rope. one. I'm happy. I'm good. <laughs> so because I got my rock on the bigger rock, it means that if my wish does come true, I actually have to come back here and pray and pay respect. So I guess we'll find out. But not telling you guys what I wish for. So we came across one of the most beautiful waterfalls that the place has to offer. However, we're running short on time and we had to go. Okay, so now we're back in the car and we're heading to the camping site. We're gonna try and get some food or something because we gotta eat tonight, somehow. So maybe kombini or something, whatever's open by the time we get there. But it's super inaka, so we should just Turn left. So we're at a 7-Eleven now. We're gonna go in really quick and go grab some stuff so that we can have food for dinner and brekkie tomorrow. So let's go. I'm hungry. How about you? I'm very hungry. I'm tired. Yay, we finally made it to one of my favorite places in all of Japan, the 7-Eleven, of course. So here we're gonna get some food and of course I had to get all the foods. Yeah, poor Josh, just had to carry all my food. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. And also, we got some drinks for the night as well. And... Here we're at the camping spot right now and you can see that there are so many different areas and we got really lucky. We got this area which I think personally has the best view. Yeah, I think it was actually unreal. But you girls hungry, so you know what that means. It's snack time. And a view. Potato salad and a itadake I'm so hungry. <laughs> that must be my saddest one today. Potato salad. It's good. 
All right, now that I'm fed, it's actually time to do some work, Steph. Come on, can't make Josh do everything today. We're actually working, like I said before, at the start of the video with Overland Japan here. They've given us this FJ Cruiser with a tent on top, which is really cool because I think this is super unique. It was actually not too hard to set up. I had Josh obviously there to help instruct and direct me on what to do, but I was able to get this whole thing up by myself in like, yeah, less than 10 minutes, which is, you know, pretty awesome if I do say so myself. And it's actually really comfortable. I remember everyone at the campsite was like shook. They were like, what is this thing on top of their car? And how did they get it up so easily and quickly? Yeah. It was pretty cool. I highly recommend this experience if you guys are in Japan and want to do a different kind of camping experience. Can you guys believe that the thing that I struggled to set up the most was the bloody furniture? Like, yep, that chair and the bloody table. That was the thing that took up the most time. Not the tent on top of the car, nope. <laughs> Okay, so we finished just shooting a little bit and your girl is freezing her titties off. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Hopefully we got some good things to show, you know, how amazing it is to go camping out here in Japan and how beautiful it is. So yeah, hope we get some good photos. Hope you guys enjoy. But for now, I'm hungry. Always hungry. Let's eat. Okay guys, so it was actually super cold that night Hello. and uh, at the campsite they actually offered us the opportunities no? to have hamburgers yeah. that we could buy and then grill ourselves but here Josh is telling me that they're out of hamburgers and yeah, no? my little heart is so devo but it's okay because I have Oden so and yeah, that will warm me up throughout the night. Drinks, uh, chicken stick for Josh. I have my favorite snacks, which is oh, here we go smoked squid, and I also really like edamame. So, I think we're set. Are you hungry? Yes, this is stunning. Look at this place. Wow, Oden was the perfect choice for Japanese camping. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I am slightly less cold. Slightly. Mm. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are still here tuning in, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me and Josh travel around Japan and this time hit up Izu. It was really interesting this time because we've never been camping before. So it was really exciting and it's something brand new that I could share with you guys so yeah hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for part two of this video basically it's the second day i'm gonna hit up some more places around izzy but yes that's it for now hope to see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>